Good morning, everybody. It is the middle of January as I film this. It's a fresh, crisp morning here in my studio. I think it's minus 13 Celsius outside. So it's always fun to come in and see a floral in the works. Now I came into my studio today um, and remembered that I had soaked my brushes in Murphy's oil soap. So let's take a look and let's do some cleaning and let's see how that turned out. Yesterday, I took a tip and soaked many of my brushes in Murphy's oil soap. This morning I came in and man is the water kind of, or the, the straight soap is goopy and a little dirty. I rinsed them all in my wonderful Ikea hack. This is great to wash your brushes. I have a fair amount of brushes and boy, do I like how they came out. They seem totally, um, what's the word? Like conditioned, like hair conditioner for brushes and crisp, lovely edges back on my square brushes. Like, look at that. So it's very interesting. There's a certain type of brush that I have that all of the, um, the wood is sort of coming out. So I think what I'm gonna do is glue those back in, add some, add some wood glue or something, or some E6000 or something to fix those. But guys, look how beautifully conditioned. So Murphy's Oil Soap is very um, water soluble, so it came out great. I kind of way like the way all these brushes look just lying here. And now I feel like I've cared for my friends. Now that we know my brushes are clean, let's take a look at how I've left my palette and what I have to work with today. So this palette has sat over the weekend. It's Monday today. And let's see how it looks. Okay. So a bit of a hot mess, but that's okay. They're still fresh and clean. So I spritzed this with water before I closed it with my um, Magellan, I believe it's called Magello um, palette, which has a rubberized, do you see this rubberized edge? It clips in quite nicely on here and gives me quite a seal. So this paint is pretty great still. What I will do with this, I don't tend to finish paintings with this kind of kind of gucky mess. What I do do is um, I will start paintings with this. I will start color blocking paintings with this. And so now what I'll do is I will go in and I will add with, uh, some fresh paint to what's really low here. And then we'll get started on a new painting. I've got my little setup on my little tabletop easel. And I hope you can see, I've zoomed in a little bit. This is a photo from my garden from last spring. This is going to be my photo reference. This is what I'm going to loosely base this composition on. And if you can kind of see, we've got an X kind of composition that I might um, try to follow. And there's a variety of sizes and um, you know, some are in the foreground, some are in the background, and we'll see how I do with this reference material. Okay, so usually I start all of my canvases or all of my drawings with, um, with chalk, with just, chalkboard chalk. So I'm going to loosely see what I can get, what I want to do here. And I will very loosely create my composition, which is a little bit going to be a little bit more of a central 
composition with things going off the page. I like, kind of like where that's going. Then, I often use a burgundy paint I don't know if you can see my, I'm trying to put my palette where you can see it. So I, I'm, well, it's very difficult to see it, but I work um, at this point, I'm working with a kind of a gummy palette. So I usually like to work with my gummy older palettes to start new paintings. I, I don't know what it is. It just is something I tend to do. I don't, when I'm at this stage with my palette, um, finished paintings, I tend to like a fresh new palette to do the final layers with. So I've got kind of a, a three thing three flower thing going here. I'll get some different sizes because you don't want all of your flowers to be exactly the same size in your composition. So we'll get some that are going back, some that will be even further back in the garden. Oh man, I can't wait till spring. This is going to be so welcome, we're having an Arctic blast right now. And it's very cold here. So normally I wait for that to dry, but today I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just gonna go for it and get right in there. And I'm gonna use a couple of my brushes that I just cleaned with uh, Murphy's oil soap. So I think it's gonna be really fun and I think, I think I'm just going to go for it. And I think when the burgundy kind of blends in with my paint, I think it will go. So I think um, I'm going to film and I'm not going to chat too much. So you may hear me just put some musical overtones in at this point. I'm gonna speed up the video here. Uh, excuse my hand, in the very beginning of this video, I apologize, honestly guys, I'm learning how to, I'm learning how to film. So it does get better and you do see more of the painting and when I'm getting my paint, you can see uh, what I accomplished. My next video, I promise, I will not have such a, uh, a big hand in the way. Now, if you have any tips on how I can do it, uh, you know, you can you can leave those in the comments. But I appreciate you watching. Um, it's, it's a bit of a longer video. I had someone ask me to not speed up the video uh, because they wanted to see how I do it. I hope this is helpful to them. It is probably still very long. I hope I can retain you all. I promise it does get pretty interesting towards the end. So please watch and enjoy.
Some, some littles. So I did do this little sketch, color sketch first, and I'm always, you know, in, a, in such a rush to share, to share what uh, the I create here on YouTube for you, for you. So this is the sketch before I have done the final touches and stuff tomorrow. It's drying, it's getting darker, so tomorrow I will put on some finishing touches, but it was so much fun. I liked it. Um, that I wondered if it would translate big. So here it is big. Here's the little, you see that? And there it is big. Now I did change because the format is longer 
and I changed it. And again, this is the full color blocking stage with a palette that had lots of paint on it that I wanted to use up because tomorrow um, I would like to use fresh paint and do the final stuff because a, a fresh fluid palette for me is everything. So I hope you kind of enjoyed this convoluted journey today and welcome back to my studio next week or the next video whenever I put it up. I haven't got a rhythm yet. Um, so like and subscribe and hit that notification and then you'll know because you know I don't have a schedule yet. You'll know when I put up a video. <laughs> so enjoy your day. I hope you learned something. Ask me anything you want in the comments and your questions and comments really help because it's, I'm going to know uh, what kind of content to make for you. Have a great day.